This video is sponsored by Avail. With the driver demand at an all-time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. Hello everybody and welcome, hang on, I need to sneeze. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it, hopefully you are all okay. How are you doing? You doing good? Yeah, it's been a, been a couple of weeks since my last video. There is a reason, um, I've just not been feeling well. Wow, well yes, actually I've not, I haven't been feeling well. Last week I was a little bit ill. Um, no, sorry, last week? Yeah, last week I was feeling a little bit ill. Uh, and a week before that I've had uh, a bit of eye irritation um, as you can see by the title of this video I have a medical condition um, it's called trichiasis now that's not actually been confirmed I haven't been to the doctor yet to, to confirm that condition it's just what I've looked on Google <laughs> but that being said I do have a doctor's appointment booked for tomorrow morning um, so yeah trichiasis I think that's what I got it's the only thing that makes sense. Basically, I've mentioned before, every time I go to the opticians to get, because I don't have to legally wear glasses to drive, but I do have glasses. In fact, actually wearing them hides the bruising around my eye. I might, I might wear them. <laughs> um, yeah, every time I go to the opticians, they always say like, oh, aren't your eyelashes lovely? They're so long. Oh, they're so nice. I wish I had long eyelashes. Well, actually, these long eyelashes are causing me problems, specifically this eye. Um, as you can see, I got bruising, and the reason being, and I've mentioned this before in the past, but my long eyelashes actually bend and curl back in to my eye, my iris, um, which in turn causes me to itch and rub, and sometimes, not well, I was going to say scratch, I don't really scratch, but I just, I'm always rubbing it, and that in turn causes the bruising around my eye, and um, it's just very irritating. It, it, it's irritating, it, it, it's very sensitive to light as well, particularly when another lorry go, goes past and it's a white lorry and a white trailer on a sunny day, it's like really bright, which is why I often, you see me wear sunglasses, I've got sunglasses just here in front of the camera, I often wear them because, not to make me look cool, <laughs> but because, because of my eye, it, it's starting to get quite bad now. Um, I wouldn't say it's affecting my driving, but I would say if I don't get it looked at, it's going to start affecting my driving. So I need, I need to get it looked at. Uh, and according to Google, which obviously, you, well, you don't, you don't trust everything you read on the internet. But if if, if you don't look after it, if, if it's untreated, it can cause blindness, <laughs> which is a little bit of a worry. So um, yeah, I've got a doctor's appointment tomorrow morning, 11 a.m. I'm not sure if I've got the whole day off work or just the morning or just the afternoon. I don't know yet. The boss knows I got the appointment, so um, the aim is to get there for 11 a.m. I, yeah, I don't know, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there, but I might have to do, for example, a night out tonight and then uh, drive back early in the morning, or I might have the old day off, or I might just come in afterwards. I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But yeah, it's just um, just causing a bit of irritation. So I might, I might wear these glasses because not only is it causing an issue um, in terms of irritation and scratchiness and all that. Uh, it's also confidence. <laughs> like, it looks bad. It looks like I've been in a fight, Someone, someone's punched me. So it's a bit of a, a confidence issue as well. And not only that, but everyone always says, oh, you look tired. I'm not tired. It's just my eye looks tired because I'm always rubbing it. So yeah, that's, uh, yeah, it's, it, it, it's something I need to get looked at, so. So, sorry we've started this video on, on, on this, but I just wanted to, to let you all know. Um, it's not the reason why I've not done any videos, but it's certainly uh, 
part of the reason, as well as being ill earlier on last week. But we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. Anyway, today, I don't really know what we're doing. <laughs> uh, we're actually on the A43 right now. We're heading to Northampton, Morrison's RDC. I've only been here once before, uh, and they got two sites. They got two RDCs, and I'm pretty sure I went to go to one last time and then ended up going to the other one. I'm not sure. But um, I'm going to go straight to the one I went to last time because I've got the same product on. It's a load of hay, double stacked pallets. And um, yeah, so we're going to take that to Morrison's. We're, we're not too far away, we're only around the corner. Uh, and I don't know what we're doing after that, so we'll have to get this off first and then see what we're doing after. So I put a post up on my social media yesterday um, and it was just a picture just a picture of me standing in front of the camera but I, I included a quote and I just I saw the, I saw the quote online and it just resonated true with me so much that I just had to sort of like repeat it and, and forward it on and I just want to say it now as well on, on, on this vlog because it does resonate with me and I'd like it to resonate with you as well. Um, and it's it, it, the quote is this. If you believe you can, you're halfway there. It's a simple quote, and I, I really like it. If you believe you can, you are halfway there. Do you know what I mean? If, if there's anything in life that you want to do, anything you want to achieve, if you believe you can do it, you're halfway there. You're halfway there. Do you know what I mean? You, I just, I love that quote. It's an amazing quote. So um, I think that I might use that as like my go-to saying now. Like, if you believe you can, you're halfway there. Because I, I really love it. What lane do we need to be in? I think we need to be in the right-hand side lane. So yeah, we're, we're just around the corner now. This is the, the industrial estate at Northampton. Uh, we deliver to pets at home as well down here, but we're not going there today. As already said, we're going to Morrison's. Yeah, there's pets at home. Over there on the left. But we are going to go down here. Yes, once we actually get into this place, I'll message the boss and ask him what we're doing next. Yes, I believe it's right here. Yeah, Morrison's is there. This is the one I went to last time. Whether it's the correct one or not, we will have to wait and see. Fancy a job? We're recruiting at this site. So there you go. Morrison's are recruiting everyone. Well, they're not recruiting everyone, but you know what I mean. Oh, we have a queue. We have a queue. Let's undo the window. Yes, I do. Yes, um, would you be able to reverse, um, just so that up there, so uh, the lorry's be able to get through. But if you leave me your paperwork, I'll book you in. Yeah, there was. Minutes. So where do you want me to reverse, sorry? Um, just up there, just so there's any of the lorries that need to get through, like the shunters and stuff. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. And then what, just wait for you to come out, or? Um, if you come to the window, I'll yeah. you in. Brilliant, all right. Thank Okay, well that's a bit weird. Last time I come here, <laughs> they just let me straight through. Weird. Strange. Anyway, let's go see what's happening. Have you been here yeah, once. once. Yeah. Want me to go through it go on, yeah. yeah. So if you go up to the keyboard, yeah. up there, and type in the PO number, yeah. then the barrier should lift. And then if you go into the yard, just here, just go down the side of the building, mm -hmm. and queue up with the other lorries that are pointing that way, yeah. they'll call you over when they're ready, and then it, they'll begin to tip everything. Um, and then if you join the queue that's going this way, after they've tipped everything, they'll come out and give you paperwork. Lovely. And then I think you put that number in again on the way out, do you? Um, they'll give you an exit code. Yeah. 
code. Oh, okay, different number. Set, yeah, when they've done it, and it will be down at the bottom. But if you enter the 924 yep. as well, that's already on there, then it should let you out. Okay, I get it. 924, then other, and numbers. Then the other numbers. Lovely. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers. Right. Um, that's fair enough, but I don't see why they could have done that while I was there. Never mind. Never mind, donkey. Let's go back a little bit so I can get a nice, easier swing. Open. Look at that, a code that works. Lovely. Engine off. Uh, so we just wait here now until someone calls us over. Pretty sure it was a side tip last time. So uh, I'm probably gonna go and get the buckles undone, ready to go. Um, yeah, so see you in a bit. Right, we are, uh, we're now unloaded. Um, it's worth mentioning that we have actually been here for like uh, nearly, nearly two hours. <laughs> so time is getting on. Let's put the old seatbelt on. Um, where are we going to next? We're going to a place called uh, Compton Farm. Yes, we are going to a farm. I don't know what we're getting loaded with. It looks like they do logs, wood, out of it. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go get loaded with some wood. And um, that's got to apparently go to Wheatley, which is, which is in Oxford. So that's the plan for today. Right, I'll put the code in to get out. It's a different code. Open. Yeah, boy. Do that window up. Turn green. Thank you. Green light, let's go. Yeah, so, yeah, we're gonna head to the towards the farm now. It's about an hour and a half to get there, just over. Uh, so we should be there for about 20 past 11. Uh, I would imagine we're gonna be in there for close to an hour I suspect so um, yeah probably gonna be half past 12 ish maybe even one ish and then to get to Wheatley from there I'm gonna say is about an hour so we should be at our second delivery point for about two o'clock ish doesn't matter too much I don't think we'll find out later <laughs> I might have to go back and to get reloaded again for tomorrow I don't actually know yet what's happening tomorrow because obviously like I said, doctor's appointment at 11 o'clock in the morning. It's a bit of an awkward time, but that's the only time they had. So uh, I said to the boss, I said, whatever is easiest for him, like if it's easier for me to have the whole day off, then so be it. Or if he wants me to come in after the appointment, then so be it. Or if he wants me to do the morning, not that it'd be much of a morning, because I'd have to finish by like 10, half 10, and then have the rest of the day off. I don't know. The problem I've got is I don't actually know what's going to happen at the appointment. Um, they might just refer me to hospital. I haven't, I haven't said yet, but um, the way to fix it is apparently to basically get rid of my eyelashes. <laughs> and it could be done in various ways. It could be done... Uh, the, the quickest, easiest way looks like it's just to pull them out. It looks like they could put like numbing agency on, on, on my eyelid and then literally just pull the hairs out. But obviously they will grow back and the hope is that they would grow back in the right direction. But there are other, there are other things that can be happening as well. They could uh, refer me to hospital and they could be lasered out permanently, which apparently is quite painful. Or they could be like crypto froze. So like you freeze, you freeze your nerves or something, I don't know, in your eyelid. So 
your hair won't grow back that way, but apparently that it can be quite complicated. Complications can arise, apparently. So, yeah, either way, it doesn't doesn't sound like it's going to be uh, pain free, at least. Anyway, it, it, it sort of sounds like something's going to happen. But the point, my point is, I don't know when it's going to happen. I mean, I've got a doctor's appointment tomorrow, but probably I can't imagine anything being done about it for a few more weeks. So. Or, it could, or they could refer me straight to hospital and it's done that day. I don't know. <laughs> That's the thing. I don't know. I don't know if they laser it out. Can I drive straight away? <laughs> or do I need to take time off work? I've got no idea. This is all stuff I'm going to hopefully try and find out tomorrow at my appointment. We will see. We will see. Um, yeah, anyway, let's, uh, let's crack on to Wheatley. Not Wheatley, to... Where am I going? Some farm, Compton Farm. Oh, it's in Cheltenham, by the way. Probably should have said that. We're going to Cheltenham. So yeah, let's get going. Okay, we are only five minutes away from our collection point. This road, we're on the A40. It's a bit of a dangerous road. I've had a couple of cars now overtake quite dangerously. Myself and the caravan in front. This is one of the vehicles. Uh, right in front of me right now. Um, I'm travelling at like 50 mile an hour, leaving this sort of gap. <laughs> and, um, well, actually, it's a bit bigger than this gap. And then that car in front just, just overtakes and whoop, goes in the middle, like, like, wow. I'll back off then, shall I? <laughs> but, um, never mind. Right, we need to get out of this roundabout. Could be a problem. There's a lot of vehicles coming from the right. Are you still are you still going left? Because you've stopped indicating there. Yeah, yeah, we we'll go straight over now. Right, we can go, we can go, we can go, we can go, we can go. So yeah, we're only five minutes away. So something which uh, something which I find quite interesting. <laughs> I've just been bought a new computer. Now it's going to be a while before it gets here. If you follow me on social media, I've already mentioned it. Oh, oh my God, the specs. The specs on my new machine, absolutely mental. I, the, the case itself is like 400 quid, just, just for the case. <laughs> I think it's like four, 450 or something. It's got like LED lighting around it and all that. I'm not gonna tell you the price of everything because I mentioned the total price on my Facebook page and, and, and Instagram and people were like, why? Why did you mention the whole price? Well, only a couple of good people. So I'm not gonna mention the price. But like it's uh, it, it's a good computer. I got like a the, the best, the fastest Intel i9 uh, 18 core processor XE it is or something like that. I got uh, an Asus ROG Strix motherboard, same one I got in my current computer. I got the same amount of RAM, 64 gigabytes of RAM. But I got a, a, a 10 gigabyte RTX graphics card, Nvidia RTX 3080, which is like woo. It's over a thousand pound by itself. So's the, so's the processor. That's a thousand pound by itself. Oh, sorry, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not supposed to be mentioning the price. Um, <laughs> um, and then the hard drive. I got like a two two terabyte SSD for the M point uh, two drive, which is what the OS system would be installed. OS system. I might as well just say operating system. Um, and then I've also got a, 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 an additional hard drive HDD, fourteen terabyte. <laughs> Mate, this machine is a beast. It is an absolute beast. Um, I'm not going to say the total price, but it's twice as much as my current one. Twice as much. And as you can tell, I'm quite excited for it. But it's going to be a while before it gets here. I'm not going to talk about it anymore because uh, it's not here yet and I'm just getting myself excited. <laughs> um, it, it could be at least a month, I think, before it gets here. Uh, it says 14 to 17 working days build time. And then it'll be another five days delivery or something. So we're talking at least four weeks. So sort of end of November. Hopefully I'll have it by December. We will see. Right, we're, uh, we're about a mile away now from our destination. We do need to take a left into a weight limit, uh, but it does say um, seven and a half ton, except for loading. And it's the loading which we want, because we're getting loaded out of a farm slash sawmill by, by the looks of it. So we're gonna take a left, uh, is it this one? That's the next one coming up. Yeah, I see it. We'll indicate now. What, nothing behind me, I don't think. There might be one car behind me, but it's quite close. I can't see it. Yeah, there is. There is one car behind me. 
going to take a little bit of a swing. I don't know how tight this left turn is. It's all good. And it should be single track for a little bit. But we only want this road. Well, we need to take a right-hand turn. Yeah, we need to take a right-hand turn onto the single track. But we only need it for, like, well, it's less than half a mile, pretty much. Ba -ba -ba. But, yeah, there's nothing wrong with this road. In terms of breaks today, uh, so I had a 45 minute break while we were in Morrison's earlier because we were there for two hours. Uh, and we stopped at the Shell Garage on the A34 just off the M40. Oh, this is tight. <laughs> and we had, a, we had a 15 minute break there while I went in and grabbed some food and drink. Yeah, come on, mate. I'm waiting for you. Right, now we're on the single track. Put the beacons on. Why not? We're only on this for 800 yards. Looks clear. Yeah, so we had a 45 earlier while we were there for two hours because we were there for so long, waiting to be let in and waiting to get let out because you've got to get unloaded and then you've got to wait for your paperwork. <laughs> that takes ages. Um, and we had a 15 minute earlier while we stopped at the garage. So we only need a half an hour break at some point today. Uh, for the remainder of the day, it should cover us now for the rest of the day, fingers crossed. Right, we need to take a right and turn in about 400 yards. I'll have to undo my window in a minute so I can concentrate. <laughs> right, this is, uh, so this is the house. We want to go in just after the house, I think. There we go. Where these puddles are for the uh, turning in. Walker's logs. Oh look, there's a way bridge there, that's good. I'll take that as that's where we need to stop. It's a bit tight in there, isn't it? We got it. Right, who do we need to see? So there's a way bridge here, look. I'm gonna assume we go into one of these rooms on the left. There's an office there of some sort. See if we can go find someone and uh, yeah, go from there. Hi, are you right? Hello. I've been asked to come here and collect the weekly load, if that means anything to you. Not to me, but it might <laughs> Do you know where about she'll go? That's all I've been told, come and collect the weekly load. I'm in the dark as much as you, I think. Yeah, my manager will probably know, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, he knew exactly what it was. Brilliant. <laughs> um, he said if you just wait on the way bridge, it'll yep. run about five minutes. Sweet. To tell you where to go. Thank you. Cheers. Thank, Thank you. you. <clears throat> right. Very nice, friendly woman. So just wait here and uh, someone will come over to us. So I'm going to go get loaded. See you in a bit. Hey guys, just a quick message. want to give a quick shout out to the Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. It is a book absolutely rammed with information regarding anything HGV related. I don't care whether you're new in the industry, whether you've been in the industry for five years like myself, or whether you are an, a veteran in the HGV world and you've done more miles in reverse than I've done forward. There is something in this book that will benefit you, I absolutely promise you. It, we're talking taco rules and regulations, how to strap a load, how to hitch up to a trailer uh, and also how to even get your HTV license in the first place. Everything that you need to know is in this book. I promise you, you won't regret it. Link is in the description down below if you are interested. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Anyway, enjoy the video. Put my microphone there so you can actually hear me better. Okay, so yeah, we are now loaded. Uh, fully loaded. But we're not heavy. We say goodbye. So how do I get out of here then? Because that's that's bloody tight with that car there.
Uh, I'm not going to make that with that car there. I might have to spin round where I just got loaded and go the other way. Right. ST is moving. I think he's going over there, let me out. Okay, lovely jumpy. Do, do, do. Gonna go left out of here. Oh, there is a lorry coming, but I can get out in time. That is tight on that house, getting out and in. I would not be surprised if that's been scraped in the past. Right. Sat now was telling me to turn right at the end of the road and not left, but we need to go left to get to the main road. Remember, it said uh, weight limit, but um, we're allowed to because we've just got loaded just from there. This isn't a shortcut for us, this is <laughs> the way we've got to go. Okay, let's turn left. Clear, all clear. I've got a question. Stop signs. On a few of my older videos, I'm getting like the odd comment from people saying I didn't stop at stop signs. And I was thinking, if you can see it's clear both ways, left and right, you know it's clear. You can see it's clear. Why should you stop? Especially in a fully loaded lorry. It's more economic to just carry on. I mean, obviously, you slow down and you look. It's 100% safe. But what's the point in stopping when you know you can go and then resuming uh, motion again? I just think that's uh, not very economic in a truck at all. Ah, this could be a nightmare to get out of, this road. This is one very busy road. This is going to be an absolute nightmare to get out of. Oh, we could just about make that. That could be a very busy road and hard to get out of, definitely. Yeah, I was tempted to go left down there and find a roundabout and turn around, even if it like meant going three extra miles. But luckily, I managed to find a gap and it got out, so happy days, happy days. Right, one hour drive now to our next location, uh, delivery point. When we're there, we find out what we're doing next. And, uh, yeah, take it from there. See you in a bit. Right, we are a mile away. We want to go right here, but I don't think we can turn right now. Can we? No, we can't. I don't know. Maybe we could if we really wanted to, but... Uh, <laughs> we'll just we'll go down to the roundabout and turn around. <laughs> it's more like a slip road on, then. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, we will go to the roundabout and spin round. Yeah, there were, there were strictly no signs there saying you can't do a U-turn. But, well, no, this has got a solid white line here, look, so you're not really supposed to cross a solid white line. But maybe you could, I don't know. We, 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 we've done it the correct way anyway, so it doesn't matter. A.W. Mobs, right in front. Big old juicers there. I've not delivered to that juicers before. On the way, bridge. Oh, 
Ooh, there is not a lot of room in here. Ooh. Oh, my God. It's taken ages just to get someone to tell me where to go. Some bloke was chatting in the Weybridge for ages. Come out and said, oh, sorry, mate. I ain't seen him in ages. Having a good natter. You know, I've got places to be, mate. Jobs to do. And then I went in after him. And whoever he was talking to, no longer in there. Walked off. So I come back out and just spoke to a bloke there. Absolute nightmare. Anyway, he just said come up here and a forklifter will come over to me, so... Yeah. I think I'll just plonk myself in the middle. <laughs> Hopefully they can get to me either side. Depends on what machine they use. If they use that big one there, then probably you won't be able to. I do. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, let's hopefully they. What time is it? I got a funny feeling I'll be here a while. 25 to 2 right now. See you in a bit. Right, we are now empty, <laughs> but we can't get out of the yard. I don't know if you can see. You can just about see on the left hand corner. There's a guy getting loaded with something. And even if he moves, there's, there's other people further on down as well. It's just one of those yards where everyone's in everyone's way. He came over to me and he goes, I take it you want to get out? Yes, mate. Yes, I do. <laughs> oh, I can't remember what time we got here. But uh, the time now is 20 to 3. Oh, I think we're moving forward a little bit. He did say he wanted to stop for everyone down here as well. He might be moving fully out the way. Nope, he's stopping there, I think. Yeah, no, he's moving out of the way. We can get out. Let's put my seatbelt on before we go onto the main road. Cheers, mate. That was kind of him. I guess they're waiting to get in as well, because I'm out. Ah, oh, yeah, it's a tight little yard, that was. Very tight yard, not ideal, but never mind. Anyway, let's get out of here. We want to turn right here. Are we going to be able to get out? Yeah, we can make that. Lovely. Yeah, so, um, time now is quarter to three. We are, we are now done for the day. Uh, we've got to go get loaded from Pure Pastures, but not until tomorrow morning. So um, the plan is, because I've got my doctor's appointment, Plan is, is to come into work uh, first thing in the morning, drive to Pure Pastures, get loaded for about 7 a.m. I expect I'll be there till eight, maybe half eight. Can't imagine I'll be there much later than that, even if it's nine o'clock. Uh, I should still get back to the yard for about half past 10, at the absolute latest, fingers crossed. <laughs> and then uh, just pop to, uh, to, to the doctors, see what they gotta say. Uh, if they give me the all clear to go back into work, which I assume they will, but you never know. They might tell me to go to hospital. I don't know, got no idea. I don't know if I've got a book appointment or anything. I have not got a clue. I don't often go to the doctors. I don't really know how they work. The, fact, the mere fact that I've actually booked an appointment to see the doctor in itself is a miracle. And my wife was very surprised. So, 
yeah, <laughs> I've got no idea what was happening. But assuming they give me the all clear and I can um, want to go back to work, once, once I've finished my appointment, I'll be back in work again. And then uh, that load from Pure Pastures has got to go to Northampton. Pretty much what we did first thing this morning. Whether it is going to the same place or not, i.e. Morrison's or Pets at Home, I don't know. We will uh, find out when the time arises. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Um, stick around because um, I'll probably leave it like a little clip at the end of this just to let you know how my doctor's appointment went tomorrow. So uh, yeah, stick around. And uh, that song. See you in a sec. Okay, it is now the next day. We've been to work. Uh, we've, we've done our collection, gone back to the yard, and now we are back home. I'm actually in my garage right now. Um, small problem, the appointment was actually yesterday, not today. <laughs> um, I was in bed last night, ready to get up early this morning, and uh, they phoned my wife up, well, they phoned, they phoned the house phone, and my wife answered and spoke to the doctor, and uh, basically said, no, he, need, he needs to see you, he needs to see you, so um, they're going to squeeze me in at half past ten this morning, so I'm, I'm going to head there now, and uh, see if we can get this eye looked at, because it's starting to, yeah. It's very irritating and I'm always rubbing it all day, so see what the doctor says. So let's go. Okay, so I've just been to the doctors, spoke to him and explained the situation and how I'm feeling and my eye and all that and he could see it. And uh, long story short, uh, I've been signed off work for a week. He said I shouldn't be driving uh, with an irritable eye. For, for anyone to get hurt can't argue with that so he signed me off for a week um, phoned the hospital up while I was there in his uh, in his room and uh, gave him my details just waiting for them to call me back now to, to, to book me in basically I've got to have my eyelashes epilated so which means they're going to pull my eyelashes out so never mind so yeah, I'm off work for a week. Hopefully they can get this done ASAP and then I can go back to work because I hate, hate being off work. So. Anyway, thanks for watching. Do appreciate it. Till next time. Drive safe. Stay safe. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.